Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Melissa Brunner. Please come on stage. Uh, 
long time that he has a bit of interest, uh, but he cannot go beyond it. Um, and as for the refugees, yes, it is a quite linked with the not only um, issue of mobility. Um, and the same holds for the character of Mehmet Hamid Afrenki, uh, that they are kind of stuck. Uh, so the entire film uh, takes place on this border, uh, on the sea where um, the mobility of these characters are put into question and uh, what are the risks that they can take. Uh, to be able to pass that border. Regarding the um, characters um, who are refugees, um, how did you carry out or how did you do approach the whole theme research-wise? And a small question also adding to this, um, this language uh, mother and child spoke, what is, which language is it? Where, do, where are they from? Where, is it, where does it originate from? Yes. Uh, it's uh, uh, Chaldean, it's Chaldean, and it's a group of people, Christian people, that lived in Iraq, and they were main, mainly displaced during the uh, Gulf War, and so it has been a long time that they have been displaced, and Turkey has been a passive place for them. Uh, and uh, why did we choose them? It was because uh, we didn't want uh, the movement of refugees only to be depicted by Muslims, by Muslim. Uh, communities, because there are Christian communities in the Middle East as well. Uh, and uh, about the research, yeah, uh, we did a couple of things. Uh, one was uh, we tried to get to know uh, people who crossed before, uh, and some of them were deported back, and so we had them meetings with them. Uh, some of them were applying for asylum. Some of them are over again. Um, we met with academicians who had done um, research passing together with people uh, or on the certain communities that had been refugees for a long time in Turkey. Uh, and we tried to meet some human smugglers. That was the hardest part. Sorry, some human? Human smugglers. That was the hardest part. And uh, uh, we, we had some second-hand information on relatives uh, about people that they thought the Hamid character came from a person who uh, had escaped, had crossed the Muslim before and had been deported, so he learned about the entire group and how his name was in himself. So that was also an inspiration for our character. And regarding the past, I would like to ask you, of course, the question which I think you would expect. Your, your main actress was kind of really an internationally known star, very popular. How did you get to know uh, Nina Polan? And um, what was the hope for her exactly? What did she, uh, what was the hope that she got into this project? Uh, well, our casting director uh, introduced her to me. I, of course, knew her work. Uh, from her use from Emir Kosturika, then from Danis Kalabis, and uh, some a compilation of short films that he did that she did in Turkey. Uh, and what was the hope? The hope was that she had a, a, a similar past in um, ex Yugoslavia, uh, living in Croatia. She had to uh, leave the country because of the war and seek asylum and uh, a new life in America. So with this theme of displacement, she um, she was felt an empathy towards it. And so that was what brought us together. Are there questions? Are there some question over there? You get a microphone just a one second. Hello. Um, I just wanted to ask why have you done a documentary? Because what you are explaining now is much more clear and um, maybe also interesting, but in the film I couldn't get that or the story. Sorry. So why didn't I do it as a documentary? Yeah, I mean all of these stories you're talking about are quite interesting, but in the film it's just standing. Yeah, it's the background. Way. It's not explaining. It's, um, <laughs> it's quite <laughs> difficult. Or it's I think it's about intention. Um, my previous work has been a documentary, 